So now, YouTube intellectuals. I mean, a couple days ago we got we got our old friend Raw Dog talking about intelligence and and the human species and stuff like that. I mean, if he really means what what he says in that video on intelligence, he doesn't think much of the human species at all. Um, and I think that's maybe I don't understand what he's saying, even though he prattles on for fifteen doggone minutes. I mean, maybe that, that, that's evidence that, that human beings aren't intelligent, right? Then I can listen to some dude prattle on in an office in front of a painting for 15 minutes and, and not understand what the heck he means. I'm, I'm sure it's me. I'm sure it's because he's smarter than I am. And I'm just, I don't see, I, I don't see on his level. Because I'll tell you, um, I, I didn't write Shakespeare, right? <laughs> I didn't write Shakespeare. I didn't write the... Oedipus plays of Sophocles. Uh, I didn't write the turn of the screw. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't. But um, somebody from my species did. <laughs> you know, uh, I I didn't. Uh, I didn't write the diary of Anne Frank, a, a twelve year old girl, or or some people would say a a a malintent. Jewish middle-aged man wrote the diary of Anne Frank. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. I, I can get away with saying that because I'm a Jew. But <laughs> but do you get my point? You know, uh, people talk about, you know, what what made what made this creature of uh rise from the ashes and then then inspired this this animal to art. Yeah. You know, I know I'm sure I'm sure Raw Dog has a different point that he's trying to make and it and it serves his his preconceived notion of of creationism and where he's at or where his belief is um, uh, going forward against the whole, you know, theist atheist thing. Now, if I'm to look a little bit deeper, of course, I'm I'm an unintelligent creature Now I don't know what what animal he has in mind on the earth that's more intelligent than human beings because I spent a lot of time in the woods and I get to see how quite a few different animals act. Um, I think some animals have a speed intelligence wise because like dogs are able to really not do anything terribly productive. Um, but yet they get fed. Same with cats. So maybe that's what he means. I don't know. Again, I, I didn't understand what he meant. Now, if he's talking about, say, say, uh, a creator, an all intelligent design creator, having an idea of of where where we should have gone in the first place, then uh, you know, it's it's funny how he dances around that. Uh, I'm I'm stepping gently because I don't want to. Um, at this point, I really don't want to give him a resounding endorsement. I don't want to attract any sort of endorsement. Of, of what he has going on, but uh, I don't know, I watched him talk about it for for 10 or so minutes, didn't make it to the, maybe he made his point in the last two minutes, because I could only, I could only hang on for so long, because the guy was making me stupider, <laughs> uh, is, is art, maybe, maybe uh, when we're talking about intelligence, um, art, Art and the creation of art and the and the passing of of information is a waste of time. Maybe, maybe it is. Um, I think I think human beings possess an extra level of edification that other critters do not. Um, when I watch the behaviors of of a dog or a cat or or of a deer or of a hog or anything else, they have certain instinctual behaviors. But there's nothing uh, that I can comprehend and put into what they must be feeling as far as suffering or anticipation or, or things like that. Um, while they can be trained, um, they, don't, they don't anticipate suffering the same way that, that other creatures do. Circling back around, however, um, the problem with, with the subject, like how Raw Dog's approaching it, you know, I mentioned uh, Sophocles and the the turn of the screw. Um, there is a there's a group of YouTube 
pseudo intellectuals that the problem is they're getting around in a little circle and and reinventing the wheel. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's all well and good until they claim that they're educated. And that's the issue. You know, intelligence intelligence moving forward isn't isn't the same thing as as education and being smart. Um, the reason why education is important, the reason why uh, you know college and and where where we used to have like a classical education for a person who who isn't like an autodidact um, is important is because you take a person with intelligence is just like having a car with a big engine. You know you got to put that power to the ground. And you gotta and you gotta go forward, and you're you're not gonna put that power to the ground by just slapping the engine in and revving it up and revving it up and throwing it in gear. You know you gotta make sure the tires are good. You gotta make sure that they're sticking to the road good. You want to stand on the shoulders of giants, because there's no way on earth that that we can from from zero come up with something as great as the wheel or as great as electricity. I mean all those people stood on the shoulders of, of other people. And it's dumb to, to think that you don't have to do that and, and go forward. I, I think it's, it's, and I don't use this word lightly, I think it's ignorant, you know? What's my point? <laughs> oh. My point is, I, I think I might up sub from Raw Dog. Now, if he's watching this, if you're watching this video, Raw Dog, and you comment, say, hey, man, check my stuff out, I'll keep watching. But I'll tell you what, if you're not watching my crap, I'm not going to watch your crap. There's my new policy. <laughs> you know, bro, you know? I got better things to do than watch you scream at the camera and, and make fun of people that you think you're better than. <laughs>